All right, we are early bird in it today. It is a Friday, and by early bird, I mean 10 a.m. <laughs> um, oh, someone left something in their cart. Um, they open at... Hmm, interesting. They open at 8 a.m., <clears throat> but I'm usually never here at 8 a.m. because I like to sleep. I am definitely a night owl, not an early bird. So we're here as early as we can be, and we're gonna see what we can find. So let's go in. Okay, I went through, we got a few pieces of clothing. So I'm gonna check out the shoe bins. They're looking pretty full. It's definitely quieter in here this morning have not woken up yet. Aquatila made in Italy. But that also means since it's not the Brighton, Brighton shoes do not do that well. Or the ones I have picked up anyway. Um, but yes, the music is more noticeable. What does that say? Are these leather? They are leather made in Thailand. about those. A little tiny keyboard. What is this? Halflinger. It's a pretty good brand. Maybe if I can find the other one. Um, I also might look these up. Usually hiking boots are, you know, a good pull, but I'll double check. Okay, let me see if I missed the sandal. Shoes. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Little funk in the um, Velcro, but not super bad. If it is full of junk, I just can't. I don't know what it is, but hair in Velcro is like one of those things that's like nails on a chalkboard. It's just like, I don't know how to describe it. Some Berkies, Birkenstocks. Those are well used. Hush Puppies. Michael Kors. A cute design. Maybe. We'll see about those. Where are these ones? 
it's old baby. What is this? Auditions. Clarks. Geox. Cute sandal. Here's the other one. It has a lot of like toe mark in it. Which you can still sell, obviously. I do it, but just not feeling the toe marks today. I think these are like vintage um payless. Lower East Side. Looks like someone kept those in their shed for like 20 years. Dr. Scholes. Puma. Okay, I think I found the ones. If I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get. Ooh, this is cute. I think there's ones inside of this. Yes, there is. There's a tiny guy. I wonder if there's one inside of this. There is something. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. Use those muscles. I love vintage luggage, but ooh, it has someone nasty inside. But I just, it's so big to sell. I usually go for the smallish. So if there's one inside this, I would have got that. But I usually leave the rest. Because it's not really a popular item on Facebook Marketplace. And then just ship it obviously is a higher shipping price so but five dollars i think for all of them okay i'm gonna look up these and those and then i will be back they're putting out a new row of hard good bins right now so um i probably will go look at them in a little while after the hype is is down a bit, but new bins coming out. I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna go through this bin. It looks like a purses before they take it away. A spree. I wonder if that's a vintage one. And the music be topping today. Well, every day, but this is extremely loud right now. What are you? Nine and Co. Rosette. Mm -hmm. Vintage gloves. I think I've sold a pair of those. They don't really go for much. Maybe like 10 or 12. Sperry. Interesting, I've never seen a Sperry backpack. Sperry nude. Oh, look at that. Sometimes the weird stuff, you know. People are about it. Uh, what are you? Kai Kyalu?
something over here. Stan Walsh Oglin. Shall I look this up? I suppose. Throw her in.
Sicily, France. This looks like a newer tin. Fiber, they need a cleaning. 15. Okay, let's go look at the new bins. Should I look these up? Probably should. I also love these big books. I'm gonna take those. What is this from? I assume these sell for maybe like 15-ish. From 1977. That's the kind of stuff that's 1989. I guess I'll look those up too. Since I have not seen those before. Okay, hands are already full. Put these in. Have some looking up to do. These are not the new bins. I haven't been through them yet.
first buddy. Like Wilson's, maybe? No, St. John's Bay. Okay, I'm gonna go deposit. Put these over here. I've also sold like four pieces of art at um, my booth. So that is a, another option for me to put art to add, which is nice. Well, like in the upper bird, they can eat. Let's see what they got down here. I guess rough shape. Lucy Bay. Mm, no name. Looks like a cute bag though. Looks like Brighton. Tis Brighton. I wonder if a cleaning would suffice to making this one look better, maybe. Uncle Mike. Tiny little 
little lily bloom. The designated record bin. Ooh, we got a traffic jam. throw back what I don't want, and then I will be off to other bins. I will be back. Okay, I went through the thing. I've thrown back what I don't want. I've also added some clothes. I'm just gonna get this side. Wonder Kids. Before they take it. I don't know when they're gonna take it, but... I want to look through quickly if I can. Because I don't think they've switched these ones out since I've been here, so they're probably on the docket. Cherokee. Thank you. 
thank you. Sorry. Some poker chips can do well. I'll probably just get the packaged one though. If um, if it's good. Aww, it's a little pupper on our locket. Tags, the newer they are. Got a little vintage bag with a used tissue. The same direction, earth and style. Gosh, that's cute. Little Didge. Build a bear. Okay, let's look at the back of that. There's also a lot of bacon in this tag. One of the wannabe coach reversible bags, but it's not coach. Is this 
Taco made bags. Okay, we got a tiny little wallet. Wait. Rebecca Minka. I do say so. Mm, what's this? Ew, this is really dirty. Target. for me to even care what the inside looks like. Madison West. Don Caster, made in USA. It's kind of a fun show. I kind of like that. It's like a two-tone. We have a <laughs> sewing needle. Bueno. What are you? I'm not sure, but it's pretty dirty. the Givenchy perfume bag. Oh, we got a... Oh my god. Oh gosh. We got a lot of whatever that is. Leaving that, because I have a decent amount of gold vintage clutches. I don't really need any more of those right now. Ugh, this feels blessed.
No back. Find the ones I haven't been through. I think I've been through most of them. They're uh, replacing a row right now. So I think I'm going to go through some clothes, some new clothes bins, and then I will be back with the new hard good bins. So hold on to your pants. New hard good bins coming up soon. Thank you. 
but I will double check. They look like they're good quality. Okay. I might do a few more clothes. I think I only have like 10 bins or so that I haven't seen as far as clothes. But I will be back with a recap. So prepare yourself for an overview. Okay, some new bins just came out. Here is our cart full for the day. No breakables today. <clears throat> it's 
kind of a rarity these days to find breakable bins, but lots of purses again, which is, I mean, I'm not complaining. There's, there was a lot of purses and I'm happy about that, but surprising, a little surprising. All right, let me start and go through all the things I have found today at the bins. Okay, so let's start here. We have a pair of Mephisto sandals, size 41, in like a metallic y snake print. They're actually really good shape for Mephistos. Usually people wear the wear the soles off of those suckers, but good shape on those. These, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into it a little more. It's D-E-I-G-O-L-I. Um, size 36. They seem small, but I guess that would probably be around a five and a half. So, I don't know, maybe that is about a five and a half. But I'll double check on those too. Um, this is a Ibeka by Joy Grison bag. Uh, Goodwill was selling it for eight dollars. It looks like it wasn't used. It's a little um has a little poof here. I'm not sure if this is real calf hair. It feels too soft to be real calf hair, but it might be. Um, but it's a very cute bag. It's a little, um, misshapen. I'm just gonna squeeze it back together. Okay, next we have a vintage camera bag. Um, made in a mystery Taiwan. Like a good, um, camera bag. I'll double check those. Those are selling decent. I don't remember. Next, we have a vintage gold Kislaw coin purse. It's a double coin purse, and this one comes off. Or, never mind. Sorry, it opens. I thought it was a separate one, but that's even cooler. I like that. Okay, so we got that, and it has this little flower emblem. Very cute, very cute. Um, another vintage wallet. A little more dirty with this one. Lady Buxton Buffalo Calf. Let's see if there's any change in here. No, there's none. Usually people get to that before I do. Okay, next we have a Rebecca Minkoff. Quilted tan with a chain shoulder strap. Next, an Esprit. I don't know if this is a vintage one. What does it say? Made in China. Just made in China. I know vintage Esprit is relatively decent. I don't know about modern Esprit. Um, next, we have a belt. This is Doncaster, I believe made in USA, size medium, and it's like a two-tone blue and red belt, vintage belt. We've got a tin, because I'm obsessed with tins. It has a little dent here. I can probably pop that out, though. Um, originally sold for $7.47, and it has some cute little mice on it. Another tin, I think this is um, modern. Uh, made in France, Massily. Nougat Monte Limar. So, question mark on that. Okay, next we have a dress Oleg Cassini, size 14, and a nice. Um, Maybe hunter green, I would say, is the closest color. <clears throat> it has like this little, ooh, there's like a little, I don't know what that is. Someone shared their dinner with their dress. 
but it has like a flowy top. Okay, next we have a straw green tote bag. Brand is Sachi. It has a little flower, flower accent on it. I like the color, it's like a bright green. Next we have a Caslon, I believe. Yes, Caslon top handle bag. It was sold or being sold at Goodwill for $10. And the people said no thank you. So it's here at the bins. I kind of like that one. I like a good structured bag. Okay, next we have a Woodland Trail size extra large turkey shirt. I'm telling you, the weirder it is, the more people want it. Um, but we're getting that. We found an LL Bean vintage dress. It's like a partial button down. that. Uh, we have a vintage Disney. So this tag is a vintage tag for Disney. Disney store. Size medium. Full zip. Mini Mickey. Fleece. Fleece jacket, I guess. Um, I sold this one dress from Disney store. It's like a tiki type of dress for like $50. So, the vintage Disney clothing does pretty well. Uh, next, we have a the brand is Knickerbocker. Knickerbocker? Um, rainbow toy. Little girl doll. And those seem to do relatively decent. I mean, for the... This will probably cost 20 cents, maybe. Okay, next we have a Sperry Nude Regattas backpack. I don't think it was used. North Sales. Um, kind of unsure about this. I looked it up and it, the stuff posted is like 30s to 50s. Because it was, I think, for an event. But <clears throat> we'll, see. we'll see about that. Sometimes stuff is posted, but it'll sit forever, and that's not something I want. Next, we have a Tylee Malibu. There was, like, a mark in here, but it's a suede and leather strap with, like, rhinestones. And then it kind of hooks over, but that looks to go for a decent amount, so yes, I'll take that. Oh, jeez. Let's move this over. Next we have a Lucky Butterfly. What does this say? Love. There's like some peace on it. Um, suede. Top handle. I will probably clean it out. It looks like there's some tissues and stuff in there, but love it love it when I get it. Okay, next we have a pair of Michael Kors suede heels. And like a cone heel. These are size... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, next we have a pair of Halflinger... I don't know, is that how you say it? Halflinger? Uh, sandals, size 37. I think they make um, like wool clogs that are popular, if I'm remembering right. I could be lying. It's a possibility. Okay, next we have two like giant storybooks. I think I'm going to put these down at my booth. They're vintage little storybooks. I don't know. I just love them. Okay, I think I'm just getting this. This little water can. Vintage water can. Um, I need to water my plants more because they die, so hopefully that will motivate me. Next we have a Brighton little compact 
kind of the classic look bag. It definitely needs to be clean. It has a bunch of markings on it, but I think it's all superficial. And the inside's pretty good. So, so we got that. Next we have a very tiny Ruby Bloom crossbody. It's like if you're traveling and you just need a little credit card and phone pocket. Next, a pair of Forsake hiking boots. Pretty good shape, just need a wipe off on those. Okay, and the last is a Loft Blazer size six. One button blazer. And this was being sold at Goodwill for $12.99. And another blazer from J. Crew. It's kind of small. I don't really like getting the small sizes, but two button denim look. And this one was being sold for $9.99 at Goodwill. Nice little blazer look. All right. I think that is all the things for today. Lots of decent bags. Well, not lots, but like a good handful of profitable bags. So I'm excited about that. If you could give this video the thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. It helps so much. You guys know the spiel. It helps algorithms, helps people find the videos, helps people come treasure hunt with me. For those of you who can't get out of the house or who just like to watch a little something while you relax, Hopefully this helps. All right, I am off probably to a normal Goodwill. Um, I haven't made my rounds quite yet, but I think I'm gonna go to a normal store after this. And yes, more to come. I will see you on the next one. Bye.